the main news. Rwanda has come out guns blazing as Britain joined the list of countries that have suspended aid to Chigali over allegations that President Paul Kagame's government was supporting the rebel insurgency in the neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo. Speaking in the Kenyan capital, Nairobi, Rwanda's foreign minister, Louise Mushikiwabo, told the U.S., Britain, and the Netherlands that it was entirely up to them to continue or withhold aid to her government. She insists that claims of Rwanda's support for rebels in the DR Congo were unfounded. CCTV's Kofam Renje has more. Rebel soldiers continue to cause chaos in eastern Congo. The United Nations and the international community have put the blame squarely on Rwanda, accusing the government of supporting and supplying the rebels with guns, ammunition and even soldiers. In a swift response, several Western donors came down hard on Rwanda, suspending aid to the country. First, it was the US, then the Netherlands, and now the UK. However, Rwanda remains unshaken. This money given to our countries we haven't worked for it. We don't maybe even deserve it. We don't know. So if you decide to feed me or cut the food, I haven't really worked for you. I, you know, you don't owe me anything. It's your decision. Rwanda has already held discussions with a UN group of experts behind the damning report implicating Kigali of having links with the rebels in eastern Congo. Key issues raised include the standard of proof against Rwanda's involvement in the ongoing fighting. There's Rwanda, there's Rwanda funds, there is a border, therefore they must be helping. Let's find ways to justify that. This is what this report is about. That's how you end up with photos of uniform as evidence. This is what is in the report. Photos of bullets. Well, the bullets don't have Rwanda inscribed on them. How is this evidence of anything? And as the Western donors play hardball with the government in Kigali, a top U.S. official was recently quoted as saying that President Paul Kagame risks prosecution for war crimes at the International Criminal Court, ICC. Rwanda is not a signatory of the Rome Statute. It does not recognize the International Criminal Court. Kofam Renje, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.